So this is the inside of my studio apartment and let me give you a tour around. This is pretty much a typical Korean entrance area. Got some little wardrobes here, big glass mirror, got my umbrella, my mask and my trainers. As you can see, it's not a huge space, but it's a great little entrance area, especially if it's been raining outside and you can take all your wet clothes off and your shoes off. You keep your shoes in here. You don't bring your shoes into the main apartment area. As I mentioned, lots of wardrobe space here. Yes, they look a little bit empty right now because all of my clothes are in the wash. The good thing is, the door does close, so you can keep out the noise from the lift and lobby area. As with all Korean apartments, they are small and compact. As you can see here, I have a fridge freezer, a microwave, a desk, a very comfy desk chair, a TV, and my internet Wi-Fi hub. And what I particularly love about this place is I have lots of shelving along my desk, which is really handy. Also, the TV has lots and lots of channels, which is great. And it's all controlled with this remote control. Got a little keyboard on it as well. Also, my desk is nice and big to work on. I've got my laptop there and my phone and my external hard drive, the orange uh, thing is my external hard drive. The internet's very fast here. As you can see, there are more wardrobes, lots and lots of storage space. It's so compact and everything that you need is in this room. Bit of a hard room to film because it's so small, but you've got the sink, a gas hob there. You've got the washer dryer, which is fantastic. You do have this big tank, which is for the hot water and gas in the kitchen which takes up quite a bit of space but I love the tiles in here. Not much of a view as you can see I've got a little tiny balcony I guess. A few different layers of doors for the typhoons and storms and also a mosquito net on the window. So yeah not the biggest kitchen but it literally does have everything that you need. Now you might be thinking what about the bedroom where do you sleep Darren? Aha, let me show you the bedroom. The bed is actually in the main room and it's not quite a single and it's not a double. It's kind of a, I don't know what size bed, but it's very comfy and I'm sleeping good in it. Now you might have noticed that it has internal doors within this small room and that's due to typhoons that they have here in Busan and it protects you in case your main windows get blown through you're still protected in like a bit of a cocoon. There's actually three windows. So if the first window gets blown through, it's got to get through a few more. So this is a wet room. You can see the shower on the wall there. It's got toilet, sink, again, lots and lots of storage space. It's very small though. Fridge freezer, microwave, TV, desk, fast internet, washing machine, a shower, hot water, pretty much instantly. It's a really, really nice apartment. Air conditioners, you can just see on the wall there. The bed can be used as a sofa to watch TV, but I've got to say, I've been using the computer chair because it's been really comfy. Regarding the TV, there are a lot of English speaking channels, which quite surprised me, but I do have a Chromecast as well, so I can watch all of my shows on Netflix and Amazon Prime. And I also forgot to introduce you to Kyle the Cactus just sat there minding its own business. So as I said, this place cost me £545 for the month, which I feel is absolutely fantastic value for money. I'm literally a couple of minutes walk away from the main metro station, lots of restaurants and coffee shops on my doorstep, about 18, 20 minutes away from the center of Busan. So you can get to most places in the city within like 20 to 40 minutes. I have to say that it's incredibly quiet here. Some evenings I'm having to put music on because I can hear my own breath. 
it's it's so so quiet and i love that because i like quiet spaces but i also like to be in good locations i've got a stream a couple of minutes walk away that i can go for little hikes uh, mountains around me i will show you the local neighborhood in my next video and that is my video for today. I hope you have found it useful. I will do a tour around the local neighborhood. I'm also gonna be sharing with you some of the hikes in the mountains and also the coastline hikes that I've got planned. So much more coming up over the next two weeks. Until then, till next time, take care.